Okay, here we're at uh, latest native plant installation project. And uh, before I lose the light, I'm gonna quickly uh, do a video uh, which will help establish a built as map for the irrigation, which is now sitting above the ground, uh, but will go below the ground. And landscapers, why you wanna do this is that it saves your client money, time and money down the line when uh, repairs need to be made or additional irrigation needs to be added or it needs to be changed, they'll have a map of where everything is. Um, and if you leave your client without this, uh, they will struggle in the future. So we have a few sections here and this is basically a sprinkler. This used to be a lawn, so we've converted the sprinklers to drip. So we have a riser coming out here by this tree in the sitting area. And we're showing that going to this tube that's uh, irrigating the shade garden here. Now, right about here, right between these rocks, we're crossing underneath the path. Uh, this tube is just left over. It's not part of our map. And then this continues on and we can show where that terminates. Uh, this runs up the little faux mountainscape and uh, throughout these I got flush caps and once um, we have it so everything can flush into this stream or those caps can be just removed and the, the system can run for effect water water down the stream uh, so that's the shade garden and here as we move into the um, dragon side garden um, we have a tube here and this I think plants will go in this area in the future so we left plenty of tubing for future emitters and irrigation and between these two stones is where we're gonna cross and hook up to the other side of the garden so there's the tube it's hard to tell I have a lot of glare but I'm trying to capture as much of the information there's five emitters on this manzanita and there is uh two emitters on the rest of the plants that are one gallon plants and three emitters going in on plants that were five gallon plants this was a 15 gallon manzanita so it's going to get five emitters some close to the root ball some a little bit more away from the root ball to uh, encourage the root expansion and now we're just showing, get my shadow out of that so we can make a good map from this video. And this dragon side garden here, this meadow and, and manzanita, that's getting fed from this riser. It used to be a sprinkler and it's coming here. And again, we have flush caps that will get buried, but you can always just uncap them to, uh, to get uh, to flush the system and then also water down the stream. We also have an emitter coming up here, sitting above the bird bath. So then the system runs, fresh water goes into the bird bath. Okay, and here we're on the left side, the upstream, as it were, uh, part of the system. I do have three emitters going to that junkus because it's in lava rock, which will get very, very hot. That's an exception to the rule. And here's a riser coming out of um, whatever block that is in the sidewalk. And tubing running here. Again, flush caps at the top of the stream. Uh, oh, that one I need to put the cap on. Um, that's a five gallon plant, so you can see three emitters going there. And then the last, um, riser you can see is over here by this cherry tree and buried in here behind this streamscape and there's uh, three emitters going to that so you know what this and three emitters and these will be underneath the path obviously going to that uh, malacanthus and um, we didn't really change the irrigation to this hedge and this maple tree 
And then last but not least, uh, a late addition to this project was this planting strip on the, on the street. Uh, some challenges there. Uh, so we have several kind of groupings here. On the south end here, we have a, a cap uh, that's gonna go near that salvia and a riser coming out of this little rock formation near this verbena. And then another riser coming out of this rock formation near this verbena. Excited, excited kids with the dragon. Um, and then we have a third, not really a riser, but uh, we don't want to have anything sticking up there. So that one's buried underneath the ground and that will feed these um, iris. And here, that's, um, this whole bed is getting fed from this riser here. And that includes a big loop feed to that cap. And then it loops around the tree and comes back to this cap here.